Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I, mean, I feel like my whole Isaac career has been random lately. And we're gonna get Isaac, okay, this is good. I asked for a normal run, the last run was just out of control. This run I hope is a little bit better, we got 9, 4, AR. I don't have, is Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers number 94? I doubt it. Good game, Xavier Johnson. If you don't know who Xavier Johnson is, oh man, you've been out of the loop. He's the newest president of the United States. How did you miss out on that news? I don't know. I'm Canadian. Even I knew about it. I don't like starting with Curse of the Blind, but I do love starting with SMB Superfan, even if it's, you know, not the toast of the town when it comes to the actual, uh, you know, opportune all-stats upgrades. It's still an all-stats upgrade. I'll take that over uh, almost anything else in the game. Not quite everything else, but almost everything else. Hagala's Rune. Interesting. If the Hagala, oh, this is where we're gonna use it for sure. If the Hagala's rune actually opened like secret rooms, I know exactly where I'd use it. But we do have an Isaac's room on this floor, which is what I was trying to hint at there. I'm not sure if we'll be able to make uh, use of it, but I hope we have the opportunity to maybe pick up some extra bombs. We got to a deal with the devil where we picked up a speed upgrade and a balls of steel pill, which is actually very very nice. No items in there, unfortunately, because you really can just kind of steal a, an item from the first deal with the devil because you shouldn't be in there in the first place, should you? see what we get from the haunts here. I'm not even like, I wouldn't even say offended in the first place, but I'm not even reacting, reactive to the fact that we're fighting the haunt. That's just how it is. On one of the first two floors, you will fight the haunt. The days of Monstro's Law are over. Remember the quaint Monstro's Law days? Oh, you're guaranteed to fight Monstro on the second floor. Man, those were, those were easy times. Now we're guaranteed to fight the haunt on the first floor. That being said, it has made me a little bit better at fighting the haunt. And also... Oh, yeah, very dumb decision. Like I said, it's made me a lot better at fighting the haunt. Plus, we've got an SMB super fan, so, you know, I can't really complain too hard, even if I end up losing both spirit hearts here by being straight up idiot, which is well within the realm of possibility. By the way, I would never fight the haunt like this if I didn't have a lot of HP to go on. This is like the fast version of doing that fight that you probably should not do if you're at any form of risk whatsoever. Blue cap, it could be a lot worse, honestly, as far as, uh, we should blow this up. Could be a lot worse as far as Curse of the Blind items go. I like Blue Cat. The shot speed downgrade is a pain in the ass, but apart from that, it's pretty good. We need we need more bombs. So there's no way we're going to get into Isaac's room without getting them. What we could do is try to blow up here for the secret room, but it's kind of high risk. If we miss it, we don't get anything. So I'm going to try to blow up this, like, uh, yeah, that chest right there. We got an extra key out of it along with some extra money, but I don't, I don't see us getting into... Isaac's room on this floor, unfortunately. Even if we get in, uh, we won't be able to blow it up in order to get a, uh, in order to get the black market or the passage to the next floor that is contained within. So I'm just gonna save our HP, or sorry, save our keys, and head down to the next floor. It's unfortunate. I love uh, getting a first floor black market or crawl space as much as the next person, but there's not really that much we can do about that there, unfortunately. As far as Curse of the Unknowns go, this is actually a pretty easy one to solve. If we get hit, we can't get hit again. <laughs> Or we'll, we'll ruin our deal with the devil chance, so... Just play it cool, and if you get the opportunity to pick up a spirit heart by blowing up a tinted rock or going to your shop or what have you, that would probably be a good idea. For now, we're just gonna stand pretty far back, and our effective range has been nerfed a little bit by the blue cap pickup, I think. I believe shot speed affects that. Probably pretty easy to test, but I'm, you know, I'm in the moment right now. So instead, I'm just gonna stick to conjecture, which is what I'm good at. We did come down here with six cents, which allowed us to facilitate a blood bank, which we could actually get a lot of value out of if we play it. We have four, and we have five HP containers. Oh, that's a ton of money. We'll definitely try to make something happen with our shop here. We have five HP containers. Let's play it um, seven times just to be safe. Oh man, there's a demon judgment. Okay, one, two, Three. What is this? It's three. Three. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Four. Five. Six. What about this one? Two of clubs. I'll just use it right now. This will be seven right here. Seven. Okay. I'm going to play this judgment rather than go into the shop because we can always play the blood bank or probably play the blood bank to get back into it. So I expect to have one and a half red hearts left right now. There we go. That'll take us to three and a half. So I'm going to play it five times if I have to. One. Okay. Two. 
Let me fuck that one up. Three. Four. Good. Uh, and I'm just going to reroll this. Because... I'm going to take it. Fuck it. I can't be trusted. Really high rate of fire now. Which I like. But I will not spend any HP on the blood banks unless we get to the point where we're at full HP. And even then... I'm a, the Curse of the Unknown plus experimental treatment. We could have the same amount of HP. We could have a little bit less. We could have a little bit more. It's just too many unknowns for me to want to fuck around with. But we can, like, now that we got that, we can definitely play at least twice. I don't necessarily... I'm not worried necessarily. I just don't want to accidentally cost myself some of these precious spirit hearts, you know? And by some of these precious spirit hearts, I mean literally the one spirit heart we have. Anyway, um, was experimental treatment good? The fact that our rate of fire is higher is nice, and it is making this room seem pretty easy, but we did get, you know, an all stats upgrade and a damage upgrade on the last floor. Alright, now that we've actually been hit by an enemy, I think we can't take damage or we'll lose our, uh, our deal with the devil shot. Which isn't the end of the world because we have the Joker, but... In fact, actually, now that I think about it, we might want to just hold off a little bit and not fight the boss. Try to get a full charge, which in all likelihood would happen by going to our shop and buying a full charge, so maybe we'll we'll consider doing that first. There's not much left in this floor, I'm assuming. Now, this is a bit of a high-risk plan, but the good thing is, you know, the risk is not that we'll lose the deal with the devil, because we have the Joker card. The risk is that we'll, we'll have to use our Joker card instead of saving it for a floor when we don't get a deal with the devil and then using it then. Which might end up costing us quite a lot in the, in the long run, but... Oh man, the little brimstone pickup, so good. Our damage was already fine, but this is, uh, this is very nice. Alright, we did take care of most of the riffraff there very easily. And that'll sort that out. Let's head into our shop. As much as I, and I admittedly would, as much as I would like to, um, you know, be able to buy a PhD here, we definitely need to get the charge. So we need, we need 20 cents. Can we get there? Not if we buy that fucking bomb, you ding dong. Alright, we're just gonna buy this. I know that that seems like a waste. I can understand why you would feel that way. Maybe we'll get like... Ah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking out of my butt right now. Let's not even worry about, you know, playing the blood banks or anything like that right now. Let's worry about our deal with the devil. We have a minimum of 5 HP. Oh, this is so good too. Because we're guaranteed to deal with the devil one way or the other. We have a minimum of 5 HP. We had 5 when we came down. We took experimental treatment. I'll take this for the chance to make it work in the future. That also gives us a nice barometer of where we're doing, or what we're doing for blood banks. So we didn't even need to buy the charge, because we, uh... We're gonna get another fight anyway, but, you know, five cents to hedge our bets, I'm okay with it. We'll take Lump of Coal. We ended up not using any rerolls at all. Why do I love this? Um... Horror of Babylon is just a great item, first off, but also, now I can come in here and play this until it says, you know, it's a terrible night to have a curse. There we go. Now we know we're at half of a red heart. As much as I would love to go to the uh, cursed room, I, I don't think I can really justify it. Let's try some of this. Could find like a second secret room here, or here, or here. We have a temperance card, right? Um, five bombs, we should be able to get to enough to buy a PhD. And PhD gives us full health, if I remember correctly. I would love to get the spirit heart out of this as well. So I want to check on something. We're going to walk out, walk back in. Yeah, so we have full health or we gained some HP in the process. Then we're going to blow it up again. Oh, no. I might have fucked that up. Yeah, we only got two cents out of it there. That sucks. Um, still, still, this is pretty good. I could pop that temperance card and get, like, double play out of it. It's the right play but I can't bring myself to do it, because we're going to get so much HP out of this regardless. It really is the right play, but I'm going to be lazy about it. Oh man, that's so good. Okay. So we're going to be able to go back and buy that Spirit Heart. Now we're back in What a Horrible Night to Have a Curse. How is my HP so low? That's a little shocking to me. We want Child's Heart. We can actually buy Red Candle. We can reroll and buy some stuff. Or we could just buy the Spirit Heart and leave. I'd actually like to go for the reroll for a chance to maybe get Black Candle. Broken stopwatch is not not quite good enough, I think. Oh, th then we just go by the spirit heart. Okay. Okay, this has been a very strange floor. I'm not going to argue that point. We picked up a lot of good stuff damage-wise. 
and I feel like we're in a, a great position for the future, but also I'm like a little frightened about what our HP situation may or may not look like. Oh, we have a ton of HP, so PhD just, just heals you for like three hearts, it doesn't take you all the way up, okay. Thank God we got that spirit heart though, holy shit, we were so close to death and I didn't even realize it. Now don't let that psych you out though. I'm talking to myself here, don't let it psych you out. We will pick that up at some point, but for now, we just gotta pick up some red hearts and then we'll be good to go. So yeah, I'm actually, you know, on the one hand, shocked that we had so little HP and if I had walked into a fire or something, we could have been killed. However, I'm also excited by the fact that we have seven red heart containers right now, which is, is totally awesome. And this should be a good opportunity to get that sorted out right here. Yeah, like we can buy that spirit heart. I'd love to just buy fanny pack, but we can buy that spirit heart. And Daddy Long Legs is great. I don't think we're gonna take two damage on a room, so I think we can afford to, you know, stick with this for now. Do we really want to fight a boss in this situation? That's where it gets a little bit more debatable, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's Pestilence. I like living on the razor's edge like this, to be honest with you. Keeps you sharp. We're gonna get a ball of bandages, which we will then pivot into... Where Are you a wizard? Where's my Joker card? No way. No way did I take Are You a Wizard instead of the Joker down to this floor. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, here he comes. Oh, watch out, boys. He's not detail oriented. Whoa. He's a run thrower. Little, little Hall and Oates for you there today, apparently. That was an extremely poor play to get rid of that Joker card for free. Um, I, there's nothing I can really say in my own defense to make me feel better about that. I wish there was. Um, but, you know, well, there actually is something I could say to make myself feel better, which is pretty much that, like, this run is looking amazing in spite of that idiocy. I really should have just taken the Are You a Wizard pill on the last floor since there was no combat remaining. But, that's, uh, that's for a future me to worry about, because we're outside of that situation right now. Real disappointment. Oh well. There's, uh, you know, there's requisite one throw on every, uh, Northern Lion Binding of Isaac Rebirth run. And we're still getting wins in spite of it, so I don't feel too bad, but I feel a little bad. <laughs> Why am I going around not re-rolling stuff? Well, I want to explore everything first. And I actually kind of am okay with Fanny Pack as a, uh, as a shop item. We actually tore through this floor like crazy. I guess we don't actually want to pick up Red Hearts, so... I, I shouldn't worry about this. I should worry about getting deals with the devil that allow us to get even more damage and never actually make a mistake here. Maybe we don't even want Child's Heart. Um, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll take Fanny Pack. I think it's okay. I hate to do this to our donation machine now that it's under uh, 100 cents, but we'll do this and then buy that up as well. So yeah, let's take Demon's Tail. I, if, if I remember correctly, Demon's Tail causes heart drops to basically plummet, but the hearts that will show up will be exclusively demon hearts. Which is a pretty good trade-off for me, so I don't accidentally end up picking up some red hearts, hopefully. Alright, well, you could argue that not being worth it, but I think there's something to be said. We also picked up a bomb as a result, but uh, you could argue uh, that, I think, as we replaced a few spirit hearts with black hearts. Mind you, we have less of them overall. I probably wouldn't do it again if given the choice, but, you know, that's the situation as it stands right now. Don't really want HP here, but we'll uh, talk about that if we get the ability to fly. There won't be a blood bank on this floor, so we really have to not pick up red hearts. That would be a disappointment. Because right now our damage is, is by far the strongest like selling feature of this run. Be cool, be cool. Speaking of me, not the cats. Getting a lot of keys here, this is nice. Uh, that could be a secret room. I'll give it a try, I haven't been looking for secret rooms as much as I should. Now, I almost fucked that up in about 10 different ways. I'm glad we came here though, because with the PhD, just put them down here because there's like a nice little nest that we can use. Uh, with the PhD, you'd expect that we'd get some good pills, and you would expect wrong, dummy. That time I am speaking to myself, again. I hate that, I mean, I guess the PhD would be absurdly powerful. Ah, the sun is very nice for us. If we ever have to use it for full health. We lose all our spirit hearts. We we can. I'd rather not find myself in that situation, but we don't have control over that necessarily. Lazarus' rags is okay. Um, I guess if PhD exclusively had amazing pills, it might be a little overpowered, but to some extent, I also, you know, that's what it says on the tin, right? You know, good pills. 
Paralysis is not a good pill. Are you a wizard is not a good pill. I don't want to shoot that poop. Don't want to shoot the poop. Don't want to smell the shit because I miss you, baby. But I don't want to smell the shit. Well, we do have two bombs again, so let's try this song and dance. Health up. Are you a wizard? What do you think about this one? I think we take neither. Health up, there's a case to be made for taking a health up, because it wouldn't actually give us the red heart in question, which would ruin Horde Babylon. Instead, uh, we would just get an empty heart container, which we could trade, but we probably already have too much to trade, so it's kind of like I can't be trusted with it, is my thinking. Polycephalus. That was not good damage, but we already qualified for a deal with the devil or not. We gotta deal with the angel. It's a bit of a weird one. I'm gonna blow it up. Oh, I don't have any bombs. Never mind, I'm not gonna blow it up. I wish I could. Instead, we're gonna leave and I'm gonna reroll this into Speedball. And we've already been to our item room. We're not gonna get anything of value out of our shop, so I guess we're just gonna go here. Yeah, and that'll, that'll keep us in time with Boss Rush. Maybe we can get a cool synergy there. Maybe. Depths XL. Well, could be good, could be bad. If we had a stat or if we had a, an extra bomb, I would have blown up the angel statue. I can't believe we didn't have deal with the devil precedent. We have so many deal with the devil items. But I guess a little brimstone came from an item room. And uh Whore of Babylon came from the Fallen. And then Lump of Coal came from the Krampus fight, obviously. Weird. Uh but I would have blown up the angel statue and then re-rolled it to try to get an amazing deal with the angel item, but so be it. Can't always get what you want, I guess. We're actually finally making some bombs happen here. I don't think there's any rush on this floor. I think that's relatively obvious, but to to, to state it firmly, I don't think there's any uh, any need to go quickly, any need to skip an item room to make this happen. We may want to skip a shop. We don't have the money for it necessarily anyway, but there we go. Book of Shadows. It's weird. I, I was hoping there would be like an item room over here so I could just, you know, Reroll that instead. I don't really want to reroll Book of Shadows, but I have to. If there's an arcade on this floor, we could get so much good out of it. But let's let's try to blow this up quickly and see if maybe like we get something even better here. Now we just got basically our investment back. All right, Book of Shadows. I like you. I really do. But you gotta go. Unfortunately, it's a matter of timing. We get the Rosary. Rosary is not good. We're already at the HP cap, and I don't want to see the Bible. So. We'll just move along. And there was another... Oh, maybe there wasn't a battery on this floor. No. That's okay. Don't want to pick this up yet. Oh! Well, we got a fanny pack to pay out with another black heart. I don't want to pick this up yet either, because these guys only do a half heart of damage. That was like a really, really poor bit of damage on my part there. Oh, come on. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Uh... What's our time at? 15.35? Still more than enough time to, to conceive of Boss Rush. Are we powerful enough to do Boss Rush? Yeah, I mean, we are. It, it, unless we got something amazing from the items, it wouldn't necessarily be one of those ones where we blow the doors off super quickly, but that's up to our discretion anyway. You know, if we don't see good items, we don't have to fight. There's no obligation. I don't want to jinx it, but I am proud of myself for not succumbing to the pressure or succumbing to the um, convenience and accidentally picking up a red heart. Which could totally happen. And ruin, well not ruin, but do some bad things to our damage. We're basically playing this Isaac run like Eve with the D6. Which would make Eve a lot better now that I think about it. It actually feels a lot like a vanilla run. You know, going back and min-maxing these D6 rerolls. We don't get to do it that often because we don't play as Isaac that often anymore. Which I like because it mixes it up, but at the same time I, I miss it a little bit. I miss the Isaac days. We get tarot cards, which is another item that, you know, while not terrible, we can't really justify taking with us. It actually might be terrible, since we have the PhD. Hmm, 1640. That's okay. Still, uh, still trucking along here, not feeling bad about our, our timing. I like this room a lot, actually. It's better if uh, they don't take five hits to kill. Maybe we can get a Joker card there and somewhat redeem ourselves. Two of spades. I'm just going to pop it so we can hold on to this. Now we got 22 keys. Founded by Peter Molyneux. 
Molyneux? I don't know. I've never actually pronounced it now that I think about it. I've never pronounced it correctly. That's for damn sure. What about this one? Two of clubs. Yeah, well, again, that's a little bit less of an effective doubling, but so be it. Still holding out hope that we get to this item room, but starting to get a little slightly anxious about it. Mom's Pearl. Is that better or worse than Demon's Tail? Well, I, I know it a little bit more. I'm a little more comfortable with it, so I'm going to roll with it. Uh, might not necessarily be better. Might be objectively worse, but is it objectively worse in a way that, you know, is likely to impact our run? Probably not. So it's okay. I know that we have a reroll ready, but we are getting down to the wire. And I don't want to spend too much time backtracking here, so I'm going to make an executive decision to just keep moving along. Bombs are key. No thank you. Uh, I'm going to make an executive decision to just go a little bit faster. I doubt we get, you know, two more rerolls after uh, we rerolled Book of the Book of Shadows pedestal again, which is now, uh, of course, the tarot cards. I am trying to get like a teleportation card here to make it so we can go to Boss Rush right away. All right, shop. We can barely afford it, but we can afford it. And oh my God, the rerolls. Okay, uh, I think we say, you know what? We're gonna reroll it because it's not that good. And I will take. There's options, and I will blow up our donation machine and buy Hive Mind, and then we'll get a move on here. Because we're getting a little bit tight for, for time. Not shockingly so, but we're, we're getting down there for sure. Hive Mind is such a weird pickup here because it doesn't really help us at all. Probably not coming back this way, so we might as well get that. Um, but it could, <laughs> it could be amazing, but it probably won't be, be anything. I am totally okay with uh, ignoring boss rush on this run if we have to. It's just a shame to see it, uh, you know, go up in smoke when it's conceivable that we could get some value out of it. Should be only three of those guys. I was gonna say two. I would have been wrong. Try to get a teleportation card, maybe. Oh, chariot. That's not teleportation. All right, this is an important moment. Ah, Jar of Tears, just god awful. Luckfoot is decent. Let's do. Oh, I fucked up Horde Babylon. Oh, I picked up a half red heart in the meantime. Oh. Oh, shit. That's so stupid. We gotta get, like, a deal with the devil. Um. Where's our sun card? We gotta get, like, deal with the devil now and get Guppy's paw. Where is it? It's over there. 1937. I still think we can probably do it. We're not skipping too much on this floor. We might be skipping a blood bank, and that would kill me. Or that wouldn't, like, literally kill me, but I would be frustrated by it. Um, so we want this. I know we have rerolls ready that we could use there. We can't make it. We can't make it. I gotta... Every once in a while, I need a little dose of reality. We were not gonna make it to boss rush there, so we're gonna back up. We're gonna take our sun card with us, though. And, um, I mean, technically, this is probably the best way to do that. And it did work out. We got one extra penny as a result. So let's go looking for an arcade. I think we came down here with enough money to conceivably find one. And we'll get another reroll that we can use on... Uh, oh my god, that's the hair that came off of our cat? Yeah, Pomo. That's, that's crazy. I'm a little jealous, honestly. We'll make a week for you. <laughs> Why, well, yes, it is cat hair. Thank you for asking. Alright, come on. Arcade, arcade, arcade. If we could just get one natural reroll, and then we could use the other batteries to, to make something happen as well, that would be fine. I do still think this is... Oh, oh, oh. We got so much HP that it doesn't matter, but... Uh, if if we could just get one more reroll, I do think we have a natural win on this run. I just... I did fuck up my damage by picking up that half red heart, basically just by not paying attention. Oh, that's, that's fucking it, huh? Alright. Well, that sucks. Uh, I guess we'll go get... Oh, what is wrong with you? I guess we'll go get one battery charge. And then we'll, uh, we could donate some money. I feel like I'm just gonna have to dedicate a day to, like, donating money to a, to the donation machine. This doesn't really matter whether we pick up more red hearts, but... You know, if there's some way out of it, I want, I want to get out of it. And we'll pick up this. We got lucky that we actually had enough hearts left to still do this. What do you think? I think we... Yeah, it's this way. I think we don't take the item pedestal. We guarantee take the, uh... Take the, uh, Polaroid. Oh, you know what? We did have one more room left because it's an XL floor. Dang it, Northern Lion! Okay, that's alright. That's alright. We got our second level bandage girl. Get some extra 
attacks going on as a result here. Well, we definitely didn't have a chance for boss rush at the end. You know what? I will take second level bandage girl over the the luck upgrade with HP. The charm shots are going to be something. <laughs> Maybe not necessarily great, but they're going to be something. And I didn't want to fuck around with having more HP. We already have too much. So let's just take something we don't get all that often. And if this opens the door to a third level bandage girl, that's actually something that's like functional within the context of this run. Like that would be great for us. It probably won't happen, but there's a theoretical chance. Very, very poor damage here, but we're done. We got no deal with the devil, so we definitely should have rerolled um the probably the deck of tarot cards. Maybe ball of bandage. So I'm gonna do something silly. I'm gonna use the sun card here. Even though we're not in a life or death situation. Basically, that's me coming to terms with the fact that it's going to be very difficult for me to get back into the Horror of Babylon state anyway. So I might as well just, uh, just kind of use what I've got right now. You know, play to my strengths. But we really, really, really would love to get a Guppy's Paw. So, I think that there's... I mean, there's not a guaranteed deal with the Devil chance here. There's a guaranteed... Um, a, a highly likely chance that we pick up a deal. But it could just as well or just as likely, be a deal with the Angel. If we get a deal with the Angel, I don't need defensive items. We pretty much gotta go for broke with, uh, with like a Godhead or a, maybe an ability to fly I could justify, but we don't have that much choice in the matter either. I mean, we do have 26 keys, but I'll go back for it. I'll go back for it. Thank God it's not an XL floor. I mean, we should still have a win on this run. Like, a win exists here for us to tease out, and it shouldn't be that tough, but... Oh, there's a, there's a tinted rock back there. I could really use small rock. We have a little bit too much good stuff going for us in this run to, to fathom a loss coming in. But I'd like to keep it that way. And I'd like to, you know, get even further in uh, on the win here. We do have those options, so we can tailor our pickup from the Mama Gertie fight. I don't love the idea of fighting Mama Gertie. I find the shots, or the, the spikes, very difficult to dodge without the ability to fly, and there we go. We do have another Spirit Heart that we can pick up, so I don't feel too bad about it. Maybe like one more Daddy Long Legs hit would uh, save the day here, or maybe it won't be necessary. There we go. Okay, it's a deal with the Angel. We're definitely taking Synth Oil, and we unfortunately don't even have a deal with the Angel. So frustrating that these deals have turned out so poor for us. But we do have enough Spirit Hearts to you know, feel good about uh, how our HP is gonna be when we leave this floor. And maybe we can reroll this into something amazing. Holy water. Yeah, it's probably like the most amazing. So I do, you know, we, we've left this floor very early on, but we're leaving feeling stronger, but at the same time, maybe not as much stronger as I'd like to be. That's okay. This now becomes a very classic, I mean, I asked for a normal run. This is becoming a pretty normal run. This now becomes a, a situation where the most important thing is just making it down to the chest. If we make it down to the chest, we, uh, we can pull out a win here. With Fanny Pack, I love this, actually. We'll get some consumables back, and we only need one half heart to show up to allow us to enter the Horror of Babylon state, so... I don't love the idea of gambling on these guys, because it's annoying and takes forever, but... We'll do it anyway. And if we could get, like, a, a luck up pill's fine. If we could get, like, a full health pill and just hold it, that would make me feel a lot better about, you know, the way that we're hedging our bets here. So I probably don't actually want that Eternal Heart. And the Spirit Heart... Unfortunately, is meaningless, and wow, thanks for nothing at all. Spirit Heart might not be meaningless later, but for now, it's meaningless. Now, we did get Skatol. How do I feel about that? I mean, it's fine, I guess. Pulse Worm does not beat Mom's uh, Pearl in this situation. We are in a situation, you know, when you'd be like a kid, maybe you'd be in like a class and you'd think your teacher was super cool, but then one day you push him a little bit too far and he's like, hey! Everyone gets attention, and then, you know, you realize that, you know, you gotta draw those those boundaries, you know? He's, he's not your friend, he's still there to teach you. That's pretty much what's going on right now. Northern Lion, you used to be cool. You used to take shitty trinkets and not care about it. Yeah, but this run, like, to actually secure a win, we gotta play a little smarter. So that's a huge pickup for us there in terms of blood clot. And, uh, now we actually can come back down here and get into our Horror of Babylon state. And, you know, I don't know if we even want a blood bag or something out of this, but we can pick up some extra cash just to hedge our bets in case money equals power shows up again. Now we're really looking for, like, a full health pill, basically. 
Our damage should be, again, excellent. Just don't pick up any fucking red hearts, because you... It'd be very easy to not be able to find another blood bank for the rest of the game. So we definitely do not want Maggie's Faith. I'm glad we came in this direction. If we had not, we might have missed the fact that there was an arcade on this floor. And might have stayed in that relatively low damage forever. But, you know, there's a case to be made that staying in that low damage state forever was actually the right decision. Even if it doesn't seem like it makes sense. It's possible that the HP is more valuable than... Oh, that's so dumb. It's possible that the HP is more valuable than the boost in damage that we've experienced. I, d I doubt it. I mean, that's why I chose to, you know, double down on Horror Babylon here, but... It is... It's beyond a theoretical possibility for sure. I don't really want to go to that curse room. You used to be cool, Dad! Nah, that's the secret. I was just pretending. I've never really been cool. Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! I don't know what that voice is. That was a very lucky situation there. We probably should have been hit. Alright. He did not die right away. I rarely take damage against these guys, and yet I find them like the most annoying enemy regardless. Stop shooting. There we go. What do you think about this pill? Balls of steel. Well, hold it. That's pretty good. It's not the full health pill that I need to like really feel secure in this run. Basically, like we can have our cake and eat it too if we get another full health pill or another sun card. If we get down to the one HP or the half HP that we have right now, we just pop full health and we come back out the other side. Minus, you know, the extra damage that we had as a result of Horror of Babylon, but still we live, which is, you know, living is a pretty important prerequisite when it comes to actually being able to kill other enemies as well, so I would be content with it. Cathedral with no curse. It's good. Daddy Long Legs, I mean, if we're doing like an inventory on this run, we do have a lot of really good items. Daddy Long Legs is fantastic. Little Brimstone is fantastic. Poor Babylon, if you can use it, is fantastic. Lump of Coal. Ooh, this could be good. Alright, so there, here's the situation. I will take Trinity Shield. I think Trinity Shield is a pretty awesome defensive item. Beyond that, it's also an item that very rarely... Ooh. It's an item that very rarely shows up. So I definitely feel okay about taking that, but we're probably, or we're definitely going to reroll the key piece. I find it, I, you might disagree, I'm kind of done with Mega Satan. I think it's cooler to reroll the key piece than it is to just guaranteed fight Mega Satan. We also, uh, we, we picked up maybe something that we shouldn't have picked up there, and you can do the math on that one yourself. But, um, yeah, we, we lost Horror Babylon to take the ability to fly. It's not a terrible trade, but it's, it's not good, sure. I'm still happy with the situation as it presented itself there. Uh, and now if we wanted to, we could go, like, full-on with this, uh, with this HP thing. Again, once we lose, once we get above a half-heart, it kind of doesn't make sense for us to not try to get back to full health. It's a weirdly, like, feast or famine type situation there. Where, like, if you're at one of the two extremes, you're doing fine. You know what it's like? It's like, uh, Russian Orthodoxy in Crusader, or in, uh, Europa Universalis 4, the grand strategy game. Not to bring religion into it, I'm actually just talking about a strategy game. You have the option to be, you know, traditional or modern. If you go full traditional, you get benefits. If you go full modern, you get benefits. If you uh, stay somewhere in the middle, you don't get any of the benefits. Of course, you don't get any of the associated penalties as well, but anyway. That's, that's the weirdest analogy I can make for this, which is really like my bread and butter. I like making weird analogies, in case you didn't notice. So, um, we, we were better off having full HP, like, the best option for us is basically no HP. The second best option is full HP, and then everything else just kind of exists in the middle ground where we don't really want it, but if we don't have a choice in the matter, then so be it. Now that we can fly, though, Little Brimstone becomes a little bit better. Trinity Shield, of course, uh, helps us out when we are choosing not to fly. Hopefully we can get Small Rock here. Make a, yeah, make us feel a little bit better about this. Maybe this is a full health pill. Speed up. That's, yeah, I'll, I'll live with it. I'm okay with it. And this one. Health up. Not gonna take it. Because we would actually lose a Spirit Heart by taking Health Upgrade. Can't get another small rock here, so I'm hoping for maybe a Golden Chest. Two Spirit Hearts. That's okay. It, it cements, uh, you know, our full health for this floor, probably. Tears up. Lovely. In spite of the fact that we did lose Horror Babylon again, this floor's turning out pretty nicely. Yeah, that's the stuff. Get into roughly the same area, and then while I'm talking about it, move out of the way so I can't hit both of you at the same time, you goddamn assholes. Good timing. 
Little Brimstone can hit you regardless of the fact that you are behind rocks. So yeah, this, I mean, at this point, it's pretty obvious, I think, that this should be a one run. Whether or not it will be will largely depend on my own personal performance, which I'm not 100% confident in all the time, uh, but combined with whether or not we get some HP back, basically. But it, I, I would call this like an 80% one run. Yeah, this actually could help. I don't want you to give me HP, but if you even gave me like a compass or something like that, or a, I don't even know. Just, just give me something. What else can you even give me? Like the map, blue map, I don't know. I'm happy to just get consumables as well, or just red hearts, but I think with Mom's Pearl, that's not super likely, but Mom's Pearl's working out okay for us. Yeah, you know, Mom's bottle of pills, it's alright. We got ma Mom's a key, which there's a case to be made for it, but I'm not going to do it. And we got Box of Spiders, there's a case to be made for it, but I'm not going to do it. We're going to stick, whoa, we got a lot of spiders out of that? We do have Hive Mind, so I can understand the appeal. Now you can have your phone and eat it too. I kind of didn't expect to be finding the boss room so soon, otherwise I wouldn't have re-rolled, uh mom's bottle of pills but we're just gonna you know take it on the chin basically and head down to the next floor and hopefully we'll just get four good items and not even have to worry about rerolls but if we don't hey in a, like four rooms we'll have more rerolls not a problem hopefully we should still be alive in four rooms unless something goes like unconceivably or inconceivably terribly wrong all right we don't want to be in this area and we still have um enough hp to take us back to full health even if we get hit like another four times here and we still have uh, the Balls of Steel pill to really be like a last-ditch kind of Hail Mary type effort. And truth be told, even without Horror of Babylon, our damage is doing pretty well here. So, this has been a bit of a weird run, but a bit of a weird run is like the fucking, you know, family from Leave it to Beaver compared to the wild-ass shit that we've been doing lately. So, I actually really like having kind of a quiet stay-at-home run here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to pick up a Spirit Heart and then go, because I don't want to use Balls of Steel if we can avoid it. Okay, so we do have a somewhat luck upgrade in the form of the luck foot. We took one luck upgrade pill, so I would be expecting, you know, on the way to the boss fight, I would be expecting maybe three or four chests. We don't have contract from below or humbling bundle, so that, that won't double, but that's okay. Curse of the Unknown. Uh, a little a little scary, actually. Mulligan's fine. Anemia's not very good. Uh, Smart Fly, or Best Bud. It's okay. Is that, you know, now that I look at it, I think that's Bloody Lust. It's anemic. I'm an idiot. Should have stuck with my uh, first guess. But anyway, we're, we're basically guppy with the mulligan. Although we didn't generate any flies there, which scares the shit out of me. We're going to reroll Ares, uh, ramming speed. There's a fly. We do have hive mind, so even if we don't summon that many flies, they will do a decent amount of damage. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I am scared shitless, actually, about uh, Curse of the Unknown here. Crystal Ball, that's really useful. We did take one hit, so a Spirit Heart would be nice. We didn't get a Spirit Heart, but that's okay. We got Suicide King. We don't have any extra lives, I think, so... We're just gonna say no to that for now. Um, yeah, this this should be a one run. We've been hit once, so we can use Balls of Steel the next time we get hit. And any Red Hearts that show up, we'll definitely pick them up. Miter is great, even if we won't have that many rooms to get uh, too much use out of it. Is there, like, an invisible haunt or something on this room, or is it just, seriously, two ghosts? Wow, what a weird room. Robo Baby is is not great, but we might as well take it because we're going to reroll the other two item room instead. Skeleton Key. Honestly, Skeleton Key is more deserving of a reroll. And I did it, um, you know, not to just be zany, but also because if we got something like Raw Liver, Black Lotus, 1-Up, like those could actually be pretty effective for us. Now, it turns out we got Pyro, which is not going to be that effective for us, but that's, you know, basically them's the breaks. Alright, so I am going to fight Blue Baby right away. This is not a run where I really feel like we can afford to be super zany. It's a run where I'm not going to push my luck. It's a run where I'm going to be happy with what I got. And, uh, you know, I think what I've got is enough to, to do what needs to be done. And we're going to test that. We're definitely going to use Balls of Steel right away on our uh, Blue Baby fight. There's basically no penalty to suffer as a result. We'll just throw it down here, and if we can pick up both... Oh, never mind, there is a penalty, because it's not the hero font. The hero font pays out um, with the hearts on the ground, but Balls of Steel puts them right into our personage, which is not good for us. I might have wasted one spirit heart, technically, there. Not the end of the world, but, you know, could be better. I think we can pretty much afford to absorb, like, six hits. And before we die, we will get one period of permanent Polaroid invincibility, so there's no point in getting super anxious about our HP right now. 
we should be coming out of this just fine. If we get hit once again and we end up being in permanent Polaroid invincibility, I'll be a little scared. But I don't think that situation is going to come to pass. I think we pulled out a win here. An interesting one. A very comfortable win. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.